Wells Fargo Center is getting ready to welcome back fans inside the arena, and it's gotten a top safety rating for its efforts. Train Doe has a look at some of the safety measures now in place. It's been almost a year since the Sixers and Flyers played a game in front of a packed house at the Wells Fargo Center. We're going to come back. Uh, we're going to come back as a team and as, as an industry, as a city, as a country, and, and we're doing our part to take those steps. Arena General Manager Phil Walls says a part of those steps was an $11 million renovation of the HVAC system, a project planned years before the pandemic, but that has become even more crucial in the age of COVID-19. All the air you see around you in this bowl, we can actually replace it with fresh out outside air in under 30 minutes. So it is absolute top top of its class in the arena industry. With this and other health and safety improvements, the International Well Building Institute awarded the center its well health safety rating, making it the first venue in Pennsylvania to achieve that distinction. It's a major step toward welcoming sports and music fans back to the arena. I've been on my couch cheering for them Sixers, man, uh, but I really would like to go back if we get the opportunity to go back to the stadium. Still others say they're not quite ready. Not just that. It, it's kind of hard because this virus is bad. Law says fans can rest assured that the arena is implementing every protocol, including a dedicated disinfecting team and contactless ticketing and cashless concessions to ensure their safety when they're ready to return. Obviously, it, it impacts our business from a tremendous uh, standpoint, but it's also just uh, this is what we do. We entertain people. And without the people, it's it, we're missing we're missing what we do. Right now, there's no clear timeline as to when fans might be allowed back at the center, but that'll be up to city and state health officials to decide. From the Wells Fargo Center, I'm Trang Doe, CBS3 Eyewitness News.